Hello and welcome aboard the International Space Station. I'm NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur along with my crewmate Shane Kimbrough. We are getting ready for the SpaceX 23 cargo mission coming up soon and we're very excited. It's going to be keeping us pretty busy. Hey Megan, let's go show them around the space station a little bit and we'll show you where some of these experiments are going to be done. Welcome to the European module called Columbus. This is where a lot of the SpaceX 23 uh, experiments are going to hang out. One of those is called Apex 8, which is going to study the response to stressors at the genetic level of plants. Now they're going to be really small plants in petri dishes that we're going to eventually put into this facility here that's called Veggie. It's a veggie plant growth facility. On my last flight I got to grow lettuce in here and we got to actually harvest that and eat it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, one of the things we're trying to do is to learn how to engineer plants to grow better in microgravity. And what we learn from that will be able to help us in the future in space travel, but also help people on Earth grow things better. Now, this isn't the only facility we have on the International Space Station to grow things. We have an advanced plant habitat, and currently we're growing chili peppers in there, which we hope to harvest towards the end of our mission. So now we're in the U.S. laboratory, which is called Destiny, and this is one of our main areas for conducting science on the International Space Station. One of the things that makes the International Space Station such a versatile research lab are the express racks. There's a couple of them right here over my head, and the cool thing about these is that it allows different researchers from around the world to send up their own payload, and the express rack provides the power and data, um, cooling, whatever that particular payload needs. One of the new facilities that will be coming up on SpaceX 23 cargo mission is called the Faraday Research Facility, and it's able to house four different experiments at once. Three of them will house small organisms. The fourth experiment will be a medical experiment to look at remote controlled delivery of medication. So that will be an interesting technology demonstration as well. And we'll be able to install that facility into one of our express racks here in the laboratory. 